Botswana listen, officially the Republic of Botswana Sawana, Lefatshe La Botswana, is a landlocked country located in southern Africa. Formerly the British Protectorate of Botswanaland, Botswana adopted its new name after becoming independent within the Commonwealth on 30 September 1966. Since then, it has maintained a strong tradition of stable representative democracy, with a consistent record of uninterrupted democratic elections and the best perceived corruption ranking in Africa since at least 1998. Botswana is topographically flat, with up to 70% of its territory being the Kalahari Desert. It is bordered by South Africa to the south and southeast, Namibia to the west and north, and Zimbabwe to the northeast. Its border with Zambia to the north near Kazungala is poorly defined but is, at most, a few hundred metres long, a mid-sized country of just over two million people. Botswana is one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world. Around 10% of the population lives in the capital and largest city, Gaborone. Formerly one of the poorest countries in the world, with a GDP per capita of about $70 per year in the late 1960s. Botswana has since transformed itself into one of the world's fastest growing economies. The economy is dominated by mining, cattle, and tourism. Botswana boasts a GDP purchasing power parity per capita of about $18,825 per year as of 2015, which is one of the highest in Africa. Its high gross national income by some estimates the fourth largest in Africa gives the country a relatively high standard of living and the highest human development index of continental sub-Saharan Africa. Botswana is a member of the African Union, the Southern African Development Community, the Commonwealth of Nations, and the United Nations. The country has been among the hardest hit by the HIV AIDS epidemic. Despite the success in programs to make treatments available to those infected, and to educate the populace in general about how to stop the spread of HIV, AIDS, the number of people with AIDS rose from 290,000 in 2005 to 320,000 in 2013. As of 2014, Botswana has the third highest prevalence rate for HIV, AIDS, with roughly 20% of the adult population being infected. etymology. <inaudible> 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 The country's name means, ''Land of the Sawana'', referring to the dominant ethnic group in Botswana. The term Batswana was originally applied to the Sawana, which is still the case. However, it has also come to be used generally as a demonym for all citizens of Botswana. Many English dictionaries also recommend the term Botswanan to refer to people of Botswana. History Topic. Topic. Early history Topic. Archaeological digs have shown that hominids have lived in Botswana for around two million years. Stone tools and fauna remains have shown that all areas of the country were inhabited at least 400,000 years ago. Evidence left by modern humans such as cave paintings are about 73,000 years old. The original inhabitants of southern Africa were the Bushmen San and Khoi peoples. Both speak Khoisan languages and hunted, gathered, and traded over long distances. When cattle were first introduced about 2,000 years ago into southern Africa, pastoralism became a major feature of the economy. Since the region had large grasslands free of sisi fly, it is unclear when Bantu speaking peoples first moved into the country from the north, although AD 600 seems to be a consensus estimate. In that era, the ancestors of the modern-day Kalanga moved into what is now the northeastern areas of the country. These proto-Kalanga were closely connected to states in Zimbabwe as well as to the Mapungubwe state. These states, located outside of current Botswana's borders, appear to have kept massive cattle herds in what is now the central district—apparently at numbers approaching modern cattle density. This massive cattle raising complex prospered until 1300 AD or so, and seems to have regressed following the collapse of Mapungubwe. During this era, the first Sawana speaking groups, the Bagalagadi, moved into the southern areas of the Kalahari. All these various peoples were connected to trade routes that ran via the Limpopo River to the Indian Ocean, and trade goods from Asia, such as beads, made their way to Botswana most likely in exchange for ivory, gold, and rhinoceros horn. The arrival of the ancestors of the Sawana speakers who came to control the region has yet to be dated precisely. 
Members of the Bakina, a chieftaincy under a legendary leader named Kgabo II, made their way into the southern Kalahari by AD 1500, at the latest, and his people drove the Bagalagadi inhabitants west into the desert. Over the years, several offshoots of the Bakina moved into adjoining territories. The Bangwaktsi occupied areas to the west, while the Bangwato moved northeast into formerly Kalanga areas. Not long afterwards, a Bangwato offshoot known as the Batawana migrated into the Okavango Delta, probably in the 1790s. Effects of the Mafakane the first written records relating to modern-day Botswana appear in 1824. What these records show is that the Bangwaktsi had become the predominant power in the region. Under the rule of Makaba II, the Bangwaktsi kept vast herds of cattle in well-protected desert areas, and used their military prowess to raid their neighbors. Other chiefdoms in the area, by this time, had capitals of 10,000 or so and were fairly prosperous. This equilibrium came to end during the Mafakane period, 1823–1843, when a succession of invading peoples from South Africa entered the country. Although the Bangwaktsi were able to defeat the invading Bakalolo in 1826, over time all the major chiefdoms in Botswana were attacked, weakened, and impoverished. The Bakalolo and Amandabele raided repeatedly, and took large numbers of cattle, women, and children from the Batswana most of whom were driven into the desert or sanctuary areas such as hilltops and caves. Only after 1843, when the Amandabele moved into western Zimbabwe, did this threat subside. During the 1840s and 1850s trade with Cape Colony-based merchants opened up and enabled the Batswana chiefdoms to rebuild. The Bakina, Bangwaktsi, Bangwato and Batawana cooperated to control the lucrative ivory trade, and then used the proceeds to import horses and guns, which in turn enabled them to establish control over what is now Botswana. This process was largely complete by 1880, and thus the Bushmen, the Kalanga, the Bagalagadi, and other current minorities were subjugated by the Botswana. Following the Great Trek, Afrikaners from the Cape Colony established themselves on the borders of Botswana in the Transvaal. In 1852 a coalition of Sawana chiefdoms led by Seshel I resisted Afrikaner incursions, and after about eight years of intermittent tensions and hostilities, eventually came to a peace agreement in Potchefstroom in 1860. From that point on, the modern-day border between South Africa and Botswana was agreed on, and the Afrikaners and Botswana traded and worked together peacefully. Due to newly peaceful conditions, trade thrived between 1860 and 1880. Taking advantage of this were Christian missionaries. The Lutherans and the London Missionary Society both became established in the country by 1856. By 1880 every major village had a resident missionary, and their influence slowly became felt. Kama III was the first of the Sawana chiefs to make Christianity a state religion, and changed a great deal of Sawana customary law as a result. Christianity became the de facto official religion in all the chiefdoms by World War I. Topic. Colonialism and the Bichwanaland Protectorate Topic. During the scramble for Africa the territory of Botswana was coveted by both Germany and Great Britain. During the Berlin Conference, Britain decided to annex Botswana in order to safeguard the road to the north and thus connect the Cape Colony to its territories further north. It unilaterally annexed Sawana territories in January 1885 and then sent the Warren Expedition north to consolidate control over the area and convince the chiefs to accept British overrule. Despite their misgivings, they eventually acquiesced to this fate accompli. In 1890, areas north of 22 degrees were added to the new Bichwanaland Protectorate. During the 1890s the new territory was divided into eight different reserves, with fairly small amounts of land being left as freehold for white settlers. During the early 1890s the British government decided to hand over the Bichwanaland Protectorate to the British South Africa Company. This plan, which was well on its way to fruition despite the entreaties of Sawana leaders who toured England in protest, was eventually foiled by the failure of the Jameson Raid in January 1896. When the Union of South Africa was formed in 1910 from the main British colonies in the region, the Bichwanaland Protectorate, Basitoland now Lesotho, and Swaziland the High Commission territories were not included, but provision was made for their later incorporation. However, the UK began to consult with their inhabitants as to their wishes. 
Although successive South African governments sought to have the territories transferred to their jurisdiction, the UK kept delaying, consequently, it never occurred. The election of the nationalist government in 1948, which instituted apartheid, and South Africa's withdrawal from the Commonwealth in 1961, ended any prospect of the UK or these territories agreeing to incorporation into South Africa. An expansion of British central authority and the evolution of tribal government resulted in the 1920 establishment of two advisory councils to represent both Africans and Europeans. The African Council consisted of the eight heads of the Sawana tribes and some elected members. Proclamations in 1934 regulated tribal rule and powers. A European African Advisory Council was formed in 1951, and the 1961 constitution established a consultative legislative council. Independence <inaudible> 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 In June 1964, the United Kingdom accepted proposals for a democratic self-government in Botswana. The seat of government was moved in 1965 from Mafeking in South Africa, to the newly established Gaborone, which is located near Botswana's border with South Africa. Based on the 1965 constitution, the country held its first general elections under universal suffrage and gained independence on 30 September 1966. Suretsi Kama, a leader in the independence movement and the legitimate claimant to the Nguato chiefship, was elected as the first president, and subsequently re-elected twice. The presidency passed to the sitting vice president, Quit Massire, who was elected in his own right in 1984 and re-elected in 1989 and 1994. Massire retired from office in 1998. He was succeeded by Festus Moge, who was elected in his own right in 1999 and re-elected in 2004. The presidency passed in 2008 to Ian Kama, son of the first president, who had been serving as Moge's vice president since resigning his position in 1998 as commander of the Botswana Defence Force to take up this civilian role. A long-running dispute over the northern border with Namibia's Caprivi Strip was the subject of a ruling by the International Court of Justice in December 1999. It ruled that Kasakili Island belongs to Botswana. Geography At 581,730 square kilometres Botswana is the world's 48th largest country. It is similar in size to Madagascar or France. It lies between latitudes 17 degrees and 27 degrees south, and longitudes 20 degrees and 30 degrees east. The country is predominantly flat, tending toward gently rolling tableland. Botswana is dominated by the Kalahari Desert, which covers up to 70% of its land surface. The Okavango Delta, one of the world's largest inland deltas, is in the northwest. The Magadikgadi Pan, a large salt pan, lies in the north. The Limpopo River Basin, the major landform of all of southern Africa, lies partly in Botswana, with the basins of its tributaries, the Notwane, Bonwapitsi, Mahalapi, Lotsane, Motlutsi and the Shashe, located in the eastern part of the country. The Notwane provides water to the capital through the Gaborone Dam. The Chobi River lies to the north, providing a boundary between Botswana and Namibia's Zambezi region. The Chobi River meets with the Zambezi River at a place called Kazungala meaning a small sausage tree, a point where Sebitwane and his Makalolo tribe crossed the Zambezi into Zambia. Ecology Botswana has diverse areas of wildlife habitat. In addition to the delta and desert areas, there are grasslands and savannas, where blue wildebeest, antelopes, and other mammals and birds are found. Northern Botswana has one of the few remaining large populations of the endangered African wild dog. Chobi National Park, found in the Chobi district, has the world's largest concentration of African elephants. The park covers about 11,000 square kilometers, 4,247 square miles, and supports about 350 species of birds. The Chobe National Park and Moremi Game Reserve in the Okavango Delta are major tourist destinations. Other reserves include the Central Kalahari Game Reserve located in the Kalahari Desert in Ganzi District, Magadikgadi Pans National Park and NXAI Pan National Park are in Central District in the Magadikgadi Pan. 
Mashatu Game Reserve is privately owned, located where the Shashe River and Limpopo River meet in eastern Botswana. The other privately owned reserve is Makaladi Nature Reserve near Gaborone. There are also specialized sanctuaries like Kama Rhino Sanctuary for rhinoceros and Magadikgadi Sanctuary for flamingos. They are both located in Central District. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environmental problems. Topic: Botswana faces two major environmental problems: drought and desertification. The desertification problems predominantly stem from the severe times of drought in the country. Three quarters of the country's human and animal populations depend on groundwater due to drought. Groundwater use through deep borehole drilling has somewhat eased the effects of drought. Surface water is scarce in Botswana and less than 5% of the agriculture in the country is sustainable by rainfall. In the remaining 95% of the country, raising livestock is the primary source of rural income. Approximately 71% of the country S land is used for communal grazing, which has been a major cause of the desertification and the accelerating soil erosion of the country. Since raising livestock has proven to be profitable for the people of Botswana, they continue to exploit the land. The animal populations have continued to dramatically increase. From 1966 to 1991, the livestock population has increased from 1.7 million to 5.5 million. Similarly, the human population has increased from 574,000 in 1971 to 1.5 million in 1995, a 161% increase in 24 years. Over 50% of all households in Botswana own cattle, which is currently the largest single source of rural income. Rangeland degradation or desertification is regarded as the reduction in land productivity as a result of overstocking and overgrazing, or as a result of veldt product gathering for commercial use. Degradation is exacerbated by the effects of drought and climate change. Environmentalists report that the Okavango Delta is drying up due to the increased grazing of livestock. The Okavango Delta is one of the major semi-forested wetlands in Botswana and one of the largest inland deltas in the world. It is a crucial ecosystem to the survival of many animals. The Department of Forestry and Range Resources has already begun to implement a project to reintroduce indigenous vegetation into communities in Kigalagadi South, Quening North, and Boteti. Reintroduction of indigenous vegetation will help with the degradation of the land. The United States government has also entered into an agreement with Botswana, giving them $7 million U.S. dollars to reduce Botswana's debt by $8.3 million U.S. dollars. The stipulation of the U.S. reducing Botswana's debt is that Botswana will focus on more extensive conservation of the land. The United Nations Development Program claims that poverty is a major problem behind the overexploitation of resources, including land, in Botswana. To help change this the UNDP joined in with a project started in the southern community of Struizendum in Botswana. The purpose of the project is to draw from indigenous knowledge and traditional land management systems. The leaders of this movement are supposed to be the people in the community, to draw them in, in turn increasing their possibilities to earn an income and thus decreasing poverty. The UNDP also stated that the government has to effectively implement policies to allow people to manage their own local resources and are giving the government information to help with policy development. Topic: <laughs> Politics and government. Topic: The Constitution of Botswana is the rule of law which protects the citizens of Botswana and represents their rights. The politics of Botswana take place in a framework of a representative democratic republic, whereby the president of Botswana is both head of state and head of government, and of a multi-party system. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in both the government and the parliament of Botswana. The most recent election, its 11th, was held on 24 October 2014. Since independence was declared, the party system has been dominated by the Botswana Democratic Party. Judiciary The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. 
Botswana ranks 30th out of 167 states in the 2012 Democracy Index. According to Transparency International, Botswana is the least corrupt country in Africa and ranks close to Portugal and South Korea. It consists of a typical court system of local magistrates' courts, a high court, and a court of appeal. The High Court is a superior court of record with unlimited original jurisdiction to hear and determine any criminal, civil or constitutional cases under any law. Appeals can be heard by the Court of Appeal. The head of the High Court is the Chief Justice. The Court of Appeal is the highest and final court in the country and deals with appeals from the High Court and the Industrial Court. The head of the Court of Appeal is the Judge President. Judges are appointed by the President of Botswana on the recommendation of the Judicial Services Commission. Chief Justices 1968–1971 John Richard Dendy Young 1972–1975 Akinola Aguda 1975–1977 George O. L. Dyke 1977–1981 Hayfron Benjamin 1981–1987 O'Brien Quinn 1987–1992 Livesey Luke 1992–1997 Maleleki Didwell Makama 1997–2010 Julian Mukwesu Nanunu 2010–2018 Maripang Dibotelo Incumbent Terence Ranawain with regard to the legal profession, although the Law Society of Botswana has been in existence since 1997, there is still no clear indication in their registry of attorneys as to how certain demographics, such as women, have fared in the legal field. <laughs> <laughs> Foreign relations and military At the time of independence, Botswana had no armed forces. It was only after the Rhodesian and South African militaries struck respectively against the Zimbabwe People's Revolutionary Army and Umkanto Wisiswe bases that the Botswana Defence Force BDF was formed in 1977. The President is Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and appoints a Defence Council and the BDF currently consists of roughly 60,000 servicemen. Following political changes in South Africa and the region, the BDF's missions have increasingly focused on prevention of poaching, preparing for disasters, and foreign peacekeeping. The United States has been the largest single foreign contributor to the development of the BDF, and a large segment of its officer corps have received U.S. training. The Botswana government gave the United States permission to explore the possibility of establishing an Africa Command base in the country. Human rights Many of the indigenous San people have been forcibly relocated from their land onto reservations. To make them relocate, they were denied from accessing water from their land and faced arrest if they hunted, which was their primary source of food. Their lands lie in the middle of the world's richest diamond field. Officially, the government denies that there is any link to mining and claims the relocation is to preserve the wildlife and ecosystem, even though the San people have lived sustainably on the land for millennia. On the reservations, they struggle to find employment and alcoholism is rampant. On 24 August 2018 the UN Special Rapporteur on Minorities, Fernand de Varennes issued a statement calling on Botswana, to step up efforts to recognize and protect the rights of minorities in relation to public services, land and resource use and the use of minority languages in education and other critical areas. Homosexual acts are illegal in Botswana, as in many African countries, capital punishment in Botswana includes the death penalty by hanging. The Botswana Center for Human Rights, Dichwanello, was established in 1993. Administrative divisions Botswana's ten districts are Southern District Southeast District Quening District Kagatling District Central District Northeast District Namiland District, Kigalagadi District, Chobi District, Ganzi District. Botswana's councils created from urban or town councils are Gaborone City, Francistown, Lobatsa Town, Celebi Fikwe Town, Jawanang Town, Orapa Town, and Soa Township. Economy 
Topic. Since independence, Botswana has had one of the fastest growth rates in per capita income in the world. Botswana has transformed itself from one of the poorest countries in the world to an upper middle income country. Although Botswana was resource abundant, a good institutional framework allowed the country to reinvest resource income in order to generate stable future income. By one estimate, it has the fourth highest gross national income at purchasing power parity in Africa, giving it a standard of living around that of Mexico. The Ministry of Trade and Industry of Botswana is responsible for promoting business development throughout the country. According to the International Monetary Fund, economic growth averaged over 9% per year from 1966 to 1999. Botswana has a high level of economic freedom compared to other African countries. The government has maintained a sound fiscal policy, despite consecutive budget deficits in 2002 and 2003, and a negligible level of foreign debt. It earned the highest sovereign credit rating in Africa and has stockpiled foreign exchange reserves over $7 billion in 2005-2006 amounting to almost two and a half years of current imports. An array of financial institutions populates the country financial system, with pension funds and commercial banks being the two most important segments by asset size. Banks remain profitable, well capitalized, and liquid, as a result of growing national resources and high interest rates. The Bank of Botswana serves as a central bank. The country's currency is the Botswana Pula. Botswana's competitive banking system is one of Africa s most advanced. Generally adhering to global standards in the transparency of financial policies and banking supervision, the financial sector provides ample access to credit for entrepreneurs. The Capital Bank opened in 2008. As of August 2015, there are a dozen licensed banks in the country. The government is involved in banking through state-owned financial institutions and a special financial incentives program that is aimed at increasing Botswana's status as a financial center. Credit is allocated on market terms, although the government provides subsidized loans. Reform of non-bank financial institutions has continued in recent years, notably through the establishment of a single financial regulatory agency that provides more effective supervision. The government has abolished exchange controls, and with the resulting creation of new portfolio investment options, the Botswana Stock Exchange is growing. The constitution provides for an independent judiciary, and the government respects this in practice. The legal system is sufficient to conduct secure commercial dealings, although a serious and growing backlog of cases prevents timely trials. The protection of intellectual property rights has improved significantly. Botswana is ranked second only to South Africa among sub-Saharan Africa countries in the 2014 International Property Rights Index. While generally open to foreign participation in its economy, Botswana reserves some sectors for citizens. Increased foreign investment plays a significant role in the privatization of state-owned enterprises. Investment regulations are transparent, and bureaucratic procedures are streamlined and open, although somewhat slow. Investment returns such as profits and dividends, debt service, capital gains, returns on intellectual property, royalties, franchises fees, and service fees can be repatriated without limits. Botswana imports refined petroleum products and electricity from South Africa. There is some domestic production of electricity from coal. Topic. Gemstones and precious metals Topic. In Botswana, the Department of Mines and Mineral Resources, Green Technology and Energy Security led by Hun Sadiq Kaboning in Gaborone, maintains data regarding mining throughout the country. Debswana, the largest diamond mining company operating in Botswana, is 50% owned by the government. The mineral industry provides about 40% of all government revenues. In 2007, significant quantities of uranium were discovered, and mining was projected to begin by 2010. Several international mining corporations have established regional headquarters in Botswana, and prospected for diamonds, gold, uranium, copper, and even oil, many coming back with positive results. Government announced in early 2009 that they would try to shift their economic dependence on diamonds, over serious concern that diamonds are predicted to dry out in Botswana over the next 20 years. Botswana's Orapa mine is the largest diamond mine in the world in terms of value and quantity of carats produced annually. 
Estimated to have produced over 11 million carats in 2013, with an average price of $145 per carat, the Orapa mine was estimated to produce over $1.6 billion worth of diamonds in 2013. Topic. Demographics Topic. The Sawana are the majority ethnic group in Botswana, making up 79% of the population. The largest minority ethnic groups are the Bakalanga, and San or Abathwa, also known as Basarwa. Other tribes are Baye, Bambukushu, Basubia, Bahariro and Bagalagadi. In addition, there are small numbers of whites and Indians, both groups being roughly equally small in number. Botswana's Indian population is made up of many Indian Africans of several generations, with some having migrated from Mozambique, Kenya, Tanzania, Mauritius, South Africa, and so on, as well as first-generation Indian immigrants. The white population speaks English and Afrikaans and makes up roughly 3% of the population. Since 2000, because of deteriorating economic conditions in Zimbabwe, the number of Zimbabweans in Botswana has risen into the tens of thousands. Fewer than 10,000 San people are still living their traditional hunter-gatherer way of life. Since the mid-1990s the central government of Botswana has been trying to move San out of their historic lands. James Anaya, as the special rapporteur on the situation of human rights and fundamental freedoms of indigenous people for the United Nations in 2010, described loss of land as a major contributor to many of the problems facing Botswana's indigenous people, citing the San. S. Eviction from the Central Kalahari Game Reserve CKGR as an especial example. Among Anaya's recommendations in a report to the United Nations Human Rights Council was that development programs should promote, in consultation with indigenous communities such as the San and Bagalagadi people, activities in harmony with the culture of those communities such as traditional hunting and gathering activities. Topic. Languages. Topic. The official language of Botswana is English although Setswana is widely spoken across the country. In Setswana, prefixes are more important than they are in many other languages, since Setswana is a Bantu language and has noun classes denoted by these prefixes. They include Bo, which refers to the country, Ba, which refers to the people, Mo, which is one person, and Se which is the language. For example, the main ethnic group of Botswana is the Sawana people, hence the name Botswana for its country. The people as a whole are Batswana, one person is a Matswana, and the language they speak is Setswana. Other languages spoken in Botswana include Kalanga, Sekalanga, Sarwa, Sesarwa, Dabeli, Ko, and, in some parts, Afrikaans. Religions <inaudible> <inaudible> An estimated 77% of the country's citizens identify as Christians. Anglicans, Methodists, and the United Congregational Church of Southern Africa make up the majority of Christians. There are also congregations of Lutherans, Baptists, Roman Catholics, Latter-day Saints Mormons, the Dutch Reformed Church, Mennonites, Seventh-day Adventists and Jehovah's Witnesses in the country. In Gaborone, a Lutheran history center is open to the public. According to the 2001 census, the country has around 5,000 Muslims, mainly from South Asia, 3,000 Hindus and 700 Baha'is. Approximately 20% of citizens espouse no religion. Religious services are well attended in both rural and urban areas. Culture Topic. Besides referring to the language of the dominant people groups in Botswana, Setswana is the adjective used to describe the rich cultural traditions of the Batswana, whether construed as members of the Sawana ethnic groups or of all citizens of Botswana. In Botswana most of the tribes have different ways that they use to greet one another, but for easy communication and connection Batswana use a three-way handshake or one can just greet another by saying, Demeling, as a way of saying, Hello without having to use handshakes. In community celebrations like Digafela or during marriage ceremonies Batswana women show excitement and happiness by the use of ululations as part of their culture. Media 
Botswana has two TV stations one of which is owned by the government Botswana Television, five radio stations and seven newspapers that publish on a weekly basis. Music <inaudible> 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 Botswana music is mostly vocal and performed, sometimes without drums depending on the occasion, it also makes heavy use of string instruments. Botswana folk music has instruments such as setinkane a sort of miniature piano, segingkor, segaba a Botswana version of the Chinese instrument eru, maropa, maropa plural, many varieties of drums, phala a whistle used mostly during celebrations, which comes in a variety of forms. Botswana cultural musical instruments are not confined only to the strings or drums. The hands are used as musical instruments too, by either clapping them together or against fathisi goat skin turned inside out wrapped around the calf area, only used by men to create music and rhythm. For the last few decades, the guitar has been celebrated as a versatile music instrument for Sawana music as it offers a variety in string which the Segaba instrument does not have. The national anthem is Fatshe Leno La Rona. Written and composed by Kagulamang Tumadiso Matset, it was adopted upon independence in 1966. <inaudible> <inaudible> visual arts <inaudible> In the northern part of Botswana, women in the villages of Echa and Gumare are noted for their skill at crafting baskets from makola palm and local dyes. The baskets are generally woven into three types, large, lidded baskets used for storage, large, open baskets for carrying objects on the head or for winnowing threshed grain, and smaller plates for winnowing pounded grain. The artistry of these baskets is being steadily enhanced through color use and improved designs as they are increasingly produced for international markets. Other notable artistic communities include Thamaga Pottery and Oodi Weavers, both located in the southeastern part of Botswana. The oldest paintings from both Botswana and South Africa depict hunting, animal and human figures, and were made by the Khoisan, Kung San, Bushman over 20,000 years ago within the Kalahari Desert. <inaudible> Food The cuisine of Botswana is unique but also shares some characteristics with other cuisine of Southern Africa. Examples of Botswana food are pap, maize porridge, borrowers, samp, magwinya, fried dough bread, and mopani worms. Foods unique to Botswana include seswaa, heavily salted mashed up meat. Topic: <laughs> Sports. Topic: Football is the most popular sport in Botswana, with qualification for the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations being the national team's highest achievement to date. Other popular sports are softball, cricket, tennis, rugby, badminton, handball, golf, and track and field. Botswana is an associate member of the International Cricket Council. Botswana became a member of the International Badminton Federation and Africa Badminton Federation in 1991. The Botswana Golf Union offers an amateur golf league in which golfers compete in tournaments and championships. Botswana won the country's first Olympic medal in 2012 when runner Nigel Amos won silver in the 800 meters. In 2011, Amantel Montcho became world champion in the 400 meters and won Botswana's first athletics medal on the world level. High jumper Cabello Kagasimang is a three time African champion. The card game Bridge has a strong following, it was first played in Botswana over 30 years ago, and it grew in popularity during the 1980s. Many British expatriate school teachers informally taught the game in Botswana's secondary schools. The Botswana Bridge Federation BBF was founded in 1988 and continues to organize tournaments. Bridge has remained popular and the BBF has over 800 members. In 2007, the BBF invited the English Bridge Union to host a week-long teaching program in May 2008. Education <inaudible> 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 Botswana has made great strides in educational development since independence in 1966. At that time there were very few graduates in the country and only a very small percentage of the population attended secondary school. 
Botswana increased its adult literacy rate from 69% in 1991 to 83% in 2008. With the discovery of diamonds and the increase in government revenue that this brought, there was a huge increase in educational provision in the country. All students were guaranteed 10 years of basic education, leading to a junior certificate qualification. Approximately half of the school population attends a further two years of secondary schooling leading to the award of the Botswana General Certificate of Secondary Education Secondary education in Botswana is neither free nor compulsory. After leaving school, students can attend one of the seven technical colleges in the country, or take vocational training courses in teaching or nursing. Students enter the University of Botswana, Botswana College of Agriculture, Botswana International University of Science and Technology and the Botswana Accountancy College in Gaborone. Many other students end up in the numerous private tertiary education colleges around the country. Notable amongst these is Bado University, the country. S first private university which offers undergraduate programs in accounting, business and computing. Another international university is the Limcoquing University of Creative Technology, which offers various associate degrees in creative arts. Other tertiary institutions include Ba Asago, ABM University College, the largest school of business and management, New Era, Gaborone Institute of Professional Studies, Gaborone University College of Law and Professional Studies, etc. Tremendous strides in providing quality education have been made by private education providers such that a large number of the best students in the country are now applying to them as well. A vast majority of these students are government-sponsored. The nation's second international university, the Botswana International University of Science and Technology, was completed in Palapi in 2011. The quantitative gains have not always been matched by qualitative ones. Primary schools in particular still lack resources, and the teachers are less well paid than their secondary school colleagues. The Botswana Ministry of Education is working to establish libraries in primary schools in partnership with the African Library Project. The government of Botswana hopes that by investing a large part of national income in education, the country will become less dependent on diamonds for its economic survival, and less dependent on expatriates for its skilled workers. Those objectives are in part pursued through policies in favor of vocational education, gathered within the NPVET National Policy on Vocational Education and Training, aiming to integrate the different types of vocational education and training into one comprehensive system. Botswana invests 21% of its government spending in education. In January 2006, Botswana announced the reintroduction of school fees after two decades of free state education, though the government still provides full scholarships with living expenses to any Botswana citizen in university, either at the University of Botswana or if the student wishes to pursue an education in any field not offered locally, such as medicine, they are provided with a full scholarship to study abroad. Topic science and technology Topic Botswana is planning to use science and technology to diversify its economy and thereby reduce its dependence on diamond mining. To this end, the government has set up six hubs since 2008, in the agriculture, diamonds, innovation, transport, health and education sectors. Botswana published its updated national policy on research, science and technology in 2011, within a UNESCO project sponsored by the Spanish Agency for International Cooperation and Development AECID. This policy aims to take up the challenges of rapid technological evolution, globalization and the achievement of the national development goals formulated in high-level strategic documents that include Botswana's 10th National Development Plan to 2016 and Vision 2016, the National Policy on Research, Science, Technology and Innovation 2011 fixes the target of raising gross domestic expenditure on research and development R&D from 0.26% of GDP in 2012 to over over 2% of GDP by 2016. This target can only be reached within the specified time frame by raising public spending on R&D. Despite the modest level of financial investment in research, Botswana counts one of the highest researcher densities in sub-Saharan Africa, 344 per million inhabitants in head counts, compared to an average of 91 per million inhabitants for the subcontinent in 2013. Topic health topic topic General topic The Ministry of Health in Botswana is responsible for overseeing the quality and distribution of healthcare throughout the country. 
Life expectancy at birth was 55 in 2009 according to the World Bank, having previously fallen from a peak of 64.1 in 1990 to a low of 49 in 2002. After Botswana's 2011 census, current life expectancy is estimated at 54.06 years. The Cancer Association of Botswana is a voluntary non governmental organization. The association is a member of the Union for International Cancer Control. The association supplements existing services through provision of cancer prevention and health awareness programs, facilitating access to health services for cancer patients and offering support and counseling to those affected. Topic HIV, AIDS epidemic Topic Like elsewhere in sub-Saharan Africa, the economic impact of AIDS is considerable. Economic development spending was cut by 10% in 2002-3 as a result of recurring budget deficits and rising expenditure on healthcare services. Botswana has been hit very hard by the AIDS pandemic. In 2006 it was estimated that life expectancy at birth had dropped from 65 to 35 years. However, after Botswana's 2011 census current life expectancy is estimated at 54.06 years. The prevalence of HIV, AIDS in Botswana was estimated at 25.4% for adults aged 15 to 49 in 2009 and 21. 9% in 2013, exceeded by Lesotho and Swaziland in sub-Saharan African nations. This places Botswana at the third highest prevalence in the world, in 2013, while leading the way in prevention and treatment programs. In 2003, the government began a comprehensive program involving free or cheap generic antiretroviral drugs as well as an information campaign designed to stop the spread of the virus. In 2013, over 40% of adults in Botswana had access to antiretroviral therapy. In the age group of 15 to 19 years old, prevalence was estimated at about 6% for females and 3.5% for males in 2013, and for the 20 to 24 age group, 15% for females and 5% for males. Botswana is one of 21 priority countries identified by the UN AIDS group in 2011 in the global plan to eliminate new HIV infections among children and to keep their mothers alive. From 2009 to 2013, the country saw a decrease over 50% in new HIV infections in children. A further measure of the success, or reason for hope, in dealing with HIV in Botswana, is that less than 10% of pregnant HIV-infected women were not receiving antiretroviral medications in 2013, with a corresponding large decrease over 50% in the number of new HIV infections in children under 5. Among the UN Global Plan countries, people living with HIV in Botswana have the highest percentage receiving antiretroviral treatment, about 75% for adults age 15 plus and about 98% for children, with a nationwide prevention of mother-to-child transmission program. Botswana has reduced HIV transmission from infected mothers to their children from about 40% to just 4%. Under the leadership of Festus Moge, the government of Botswana solicited outside help in fighting HIV, AIDS and received early support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Merck Foundation, and together formed the African Comprehensive HIV, AIDS Partnership Other early partners include the Botswana Harvard AIDS Institute, of the Harvard School of Public Health and the Botswana UPenn Partnership of the University of Pennsylvania. According to the 2011 UNAIDS report, universal access to treatment, defined as 80% coverage or greater, has been achieved in Botswana. Potential reasons for Botswana's high HIV prevalence include concurrent sexual partnerships, transactional sex, cross generational sex, and a significant number of people who travel outside of their local communities in pursuit of work. The polyamorous nature of many sexual relationships further impacts the health situation, to the extent that it has given rise to a love vocabulary that is unique to the region. Tourism The Botswana Tourism Organization is the country's official tourism group. Primarily, tourists visit Gaborone due to the city having numerous activities for visitors. The Lion Park Resort is Botswana's first permanent amusement park and hosts events such as birthday parties for families. Other destinations in Botswana include the Gaborone Yacht Club and the Kalahari Fishing Club and natural attractions such as the Gaborone Dam and Makaladi Nature Reserve. There are golf courses which are maintained by the Botswana Golf Union 
The Facolane Golf Estate is a multi-million dollar clubhouse that offers both hotel accommodations and access to golf courses. Museums in Botswana include Botswana National Museum in Gaborone KGOSI Bathun II Museum in Kanye KGOSI Seychelle I Museum in Malepolole Kama III Memorial Museum in Saraway Nhabe Museum in Mon Futhadikobo Museum in Mochudi Supa Ng Wano Museum Center in Francistown Topic. See also Topic. Outline of Botswana List of Botswana-related topics Topic. Sources Topic. This article incorporates text from a free content work. Licensed under CC by SA IGO 3. Zero UNESCO Science Report, Towards 2030, 546-547 UNESCO, UNESCO Publishing. To learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles, please see Wikipedia, Adding Open License Text to Wikipedia. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use. References Topic. Further reading Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Official website. Botswana. The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency. Botswana from UCB Libraries Govpubs Botswana at Curlie Botswana from the BBC News Wikimedia Atlas of Botswana Key development forecasts for Botswana from International Futures Government Directory for Botswana from African Directory Services